response on the phone. <clears throat> how you doing, Chris? Hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, partner. Oh, man, so glad to have you on the show. Here with my co-host, Case. Um, still, still my favorite lines coach ever, I, and, and probably no one will replace you. I got to tell you. Appreciate you. Who's your, whole, who's your uh, partner? That would be me, Chris, uh, Case. <laughs> I said Chris. Kate? Case? Yeah. Case? Oh, it's great to talk to you, man. Case? case? Like, like briefcase, yeah. Yeah. Oh, briefcase, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a case of something. <laughs> okay, <don't> case. <laughs> Listen, I'm at, I'm at my daughter's condo on the water. We're getting ready to take off the boat. Oh, so nice. uh, I get about 10 or 12 minutes, and uh, if you guys want that, I'll do it right now. Yeah, we're on, man. We'll do it. We'll, let's, we'll start right now. <laughs> we're good. Let me, um, okay, yeah. uh, let me, let me just kind of talk about, we talked with Billy Sims earlier today, and he, he said something. I want to know how true this is <laughs> he said that uh when barry was up there on the draft board that he called and he said you don't let you don't let that guy go you go after him and get him and i recall with barry i remember that coach fonts was fighting for barry at that draft and there was people that maybe weren't so as high on that pick as they should have been and is it does this it, it's it seems to square but is this true is this story true did he help convince you no uh, he did call he really did but uh, no, I, I was going to take Barry all the way. He just told me, you know, Billy's one of the great guys. He said, yeah. uh, Barry Sanders will make Detroit forget Billy Sims. <laughs> so, uh, wow. I mean, he didn't make the call. And I said, Billy, appreciate it. Uh, but I've, I'm going to take him. And he said, great. He's a great choice, coach. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, there, there, we got a couple questions. We're coming from the, from our, our, our the chat, and I'll just go right into them. Uh, do you think the lion? And sorry, not this one. Um, how do you pick up your team after a big loss? Because look, this is where the Lions are at. This has been a tough year for the team. Um, they've had a lot of a lot just games they should have won and games they shouldn't have won. But they've been a lot of losses this year, not meeting expectations for two years here. How do you pick a team up from here? Well, are, are we on, are we on the air? Yes, yes, sir, we are. Okay, hello Detroit. But anyway, uh, uh, I've I've had that experience, uh, as you know. When we first started, we had a hard time winning a game. I used to walk in the locker room after the game, and I said, "You know what, guys? We just ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> ran out of time. If we had no more time, maybe we had a better shot." But uh, and and they were trying to loosen loosen them up a little bit. I knew I knew we had a ways to go. Uh, to build a program that I think that the people in Detroit would have been proud of. and uh, But I, I never really got down on the players. Uh, I wanted them to realize that uh, we had a ways to go. And uh, I always, I remember coming in the locker room after a loss or whatever. And uh, I remember when I was an uh, uh, interim coach and the first uh, game we played was Green Bay and we won. The players gave everything they had. They, they must have got together in the locker room and said, let's go out there and win this game. And uh, they gave it. It was close, but we won the football game. Then we went to Chicago, I believe it's the second week. I'm not sure it was Chicago. It was Chicago, I think. And and we lost. And But it was right down the end. They kicked a field goal and beat us. And, and I, as I was walking into the locker room, I, I had to say, I was thinking, what could I tell a bunch of guys? that gave me an interim coach everything they had. And uh, and I, I remember saying, I, I brought everybody up, and uh, we said, uh, I said, guys, I appreciate your effort. And they kind of, they were had their heads down, they kind of looked up, and I think they said, wow, uh, we're on the right track. This guy believes in us. And, and after every game, I remember going in the locker room and, and made that statement before we said our team prayer after the game. I said, uh, I always said, guys, I appreciate your effort. And, and to me, that went a long way with the guys I had. And uh, uh, it, it was it was a thing that just came out. But I wanted them to know, uh, Chris, I wanted them to know that uh, I really did. They, they played their heart out. Sometimes you play your heart out and, and, and you just – can't get it done but i knew that they gave every, they always say give me a hundred percent and and sometimes a player can't give you that a hundred percent because they're, they're injured or their their legs are tired or whatever it might be but i always ask the guys guys i, I know you some of you guys can't give me a hundred percent today but if you have 80 give me 80 
you get 75, give me 75. If you have 75 and only give me 50, then I'm disappointed. So I always tell them, give me whatever you have. And, and, and they always did. And uh, uh, do I think we could have won a Super Bowl or two or three would be a, uh, after I got fired? Sure. I thought if we had uh, uh, a quarterback like uh, most of these teams that are winning Super Bowls, yeah, we would have won some Super Bowls. Uh, so, because the players wanted that, Mr. Ford wanted that, the uh, whole Detroit Lions organization uh, wanted that. But we always came up a little short, and uh, uh, to that, I'm I feel kind of down because I thought we had a chance, and the players we had, I thought we really had a chance. And when we went, when we went twelve and four. Uh, yeah. If you remember, we lost. We lost about. Four or five or six players off that team yep. that uh, went other places for more money. So I un- I understood that also. I sure. remember Chris Billman coming in and said, uh, "Coach, I got a great deal at Buffalo, and I can make this." And I said, "Chris, do what you got to do. Take care of your family." Uh, and I and I understood that. So we lost uh, uh, we lost some good players after that twelve and four season, and then of course uh, we've had tragedies with. Uh, uh, Andelsack, yeah. Mike Cutley, and, and my yeah. brother, and, and so it, it was tough. It was a tough stretch for us, but uh, uh, I'm not. Uh, how I want to put this? I'm not. I'm disappointed that we didn't win at all. I'm disappointed that I didn't get that another opportunity because we had a good football team. Yeah. Now I know I'm rattling, but going back to this, your team with this quarterback. Uh, I remember about, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, whatever, uh, Detroit came in to play uh, Tampa, <clears throat> where, where I now reside. And uh, I remember meeting uh, your quarterback, uh, Mike uh, Mike Stafford. Matthew Stafford, yep. Yeah, I, I remember meeting him. He was sitting down in the corner, and I went over him and told him, because they had just got beat or whatever, and I said, let me tell you something. You're pretty good. Detroit could win with you. You will win the Super Bowl. You, I think you're that good. And and then I thought about had we had him with the players we had, oh, yes, we wow. we'd have won a couple of Super Bowls. Yeah. But Chris, I want I want to say this. I know I'm rattling. I I'm ready to get on a boat and go boating. Uh, we had we didn't have a great football team. We didn't have the greatest offense. Of course, we had Barry and we had the, and some great linemen. Uh, and we didn't have a great defense, but they were pretty good. They Offense was good. Defense, they were both good enough to win a Super Bowl. And uh, we lacked we lacked the guy under the center. And, and um, I would never mention anybody's name. But, but uh, most teams that win Super Bowls have a great quarterback. And the Lions have one. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I... Uh, and I'm not saying anything about what's going on in Detroit because I never would. But I, I would say this: Detroit Lions are a good football team. Uh, I just can't put my finger on it. Uh, they they got a quarterback that do it all. Some weeks they go out there and and uh, and they just blow someone out, and then they get ahead, and then they lose it. Uh, so I I don't I'm not, I'm not there. I don't understand it. But they're a good football team, and and I and I watch them every week. And every once in, once in a while, I put a little money on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't mind. I put a few shackles on them. Uh, and then I sit there and go, oh, my God. What did I do? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's their, why, it was their shackles they, in the first place, right? <laughs> why did I do this thing? My goodness. But they, but they're always up to go 14 nothing. All my buddies go, Coach, you're winning. I said, don't tell me that. Don't say anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, but I had a great I had a great time in Detroit, and I hope what I said makes sense. Uh, for sure, uh, I think the players played really hard for me, and uh, but uh, the key was uh, I think the key is to most coaches and most uh, treat the players like men, and I think they will return that back to you. Uh, and and I always did, and uh, we had we I had so much fun coaching that foot the football teams I had in Detroit. And it, it wasn't really work for me. If you go play football, that you, I'm out there playing with these guys. And and uh, I know I'm rattling, but uh, I'm remembering great. I remember one time, I know I'm running out of time here. I remember uh, we had just drafted Herman Moore, and we went through training camp. And I said, man, this guy's a stud. 
and I went and worked him out at uh, Virginia, and I came back and said, well, we want this guy. And we took him. And remember, the first game of the season, uh, I'm standing on the sideline, and, and we're getting beat. And I, I walk by, and I see this big, tall shadow, and it was Herman Moore standing beside Charlie Sanders. God bless Charlie. I love Charlie yeah, Sanders. Yeah. And, and I looked in, and I said, I, I saw this. I saw, I saw Herman. And I said, Charlie, Charlie, what's he doing? Put him in the game. Uh, he goes, he, he's very calmly. He looked at me and said, Coach, he's not ready. I said, what do you mean he's not ready? We got a guy five foot six out there. Put him in the game. <laughs> so I said, Herman, get in. I said, Herman, get in the game. Herman went in. And the first pass, we threw him across the middle. He dropped it. And Charlie Sanders came in and says, Coach, I said he wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! But that's the that's the relationship I have with my staff. And if you don't have that uh, uh, camaraderie with your players and your and your and your staff, I, I, I could have found another job. But I had that, and I loved it. And uh, I know I'm rallying, but. Uh, I always have great time talking about the Lions. Yeah. Well, Coach, I'll tell you, we absolutely love your time. We look back on it so fondly. I know the press sometimes didn't treat you very fairly, and and, and I'll just, on behalf of fans everywhere, I apologize because you should, you deserved better from the from the press when you were here. And little did we know how great Barry actually was, how great Coach oh, yeah. Font was, Font, how, how know, great uh, Coach Font was, the whole uh, thing. We didn't realize how good we had it. Ted, you know, and I, I remember telling the press, uh, the uh, beat writers, and I was in the room when I got fired, etc. I said to them, I told them, I said, five years from now, you're going to realize what a great job we did here in Detroit. And now it's been 26 years, and they still don't realize what a great job that football team did. They yeah. gave it everything they had. And uh, Chris, I'm getting ready to jump on a boat with my daughter. Yes. My wife and her, and I'm going. It's getting it's getting dark. Go have I'm fun. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to get out and have a good time before it gets too dark. You do that. Give them our very best. I will touch base with you in a couple of days. To we'll do that football sign it, and I'm bringing cigars if you don't oh, mind. Absolutely. All right, you absolutely. got it. But and, I can't. And anytime wait. you get a couple of minutes, you want me to come on, or just give me a call. You, All right, appreciate it, buddy. You're the best. Thanks, Wayne. Enjoy the family. And, and, and go destroy. All right, thank you. All right, buddy. See you, Bye. Bye. Coach Fonts. Right. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> he is so great. Yeah. 